I've been thinking about how to best use the empty space around the miter saw for dust collection nodes. Optimally, I could use either hoses or just one of them, depending on the needs of the cut. So it kind of makes sense to plan to use both sides. It's just that the miter saw is comprised mostly of weird shapes and moving parts. I can't think of anything particularly good, so I'm just going to start somewhere and we'll see how I should iterate. There's a small metal hump with nothing inside of it in front of the secondary rotation axis. Kinda seems like a good attachment point directly in line with the cut. Let's not think about it too hard because I sure didn't. Using an approximated quarter sphere, I modeled in through holes for mounting the saw and the rest of the dust C catcher. In the case that I need to swap out parts of the assembly later on, the base will be able to stay the same. seemed to help quite a bit, but a lot of material was bouncing off of it. Angled cuts look like they'd be fine. Oh. And I'm not even going to try and waste my time with a double miter. Okay, so theoretically, if I knock out this section of the model, that shouldn't make enough clearance for the moving head of the saw. So of course I completely redesigned it from the ground up. Yeah, there was already a small bracket on the side for the old dust sack, I honestly don't know why I didn't use this in the first place. Center support lost adhesion and started moving around, so I had to do a bit of mid-print surgery. And there was also a pause in the print to inset these nuts. I did a bit of test fitting while the last print was going and I just stopped it because And there's also two other clearance issues around the chopping motion of the saw. And thus version 3 was designed. Special shout out to my favorite parameter defining sketch. I took some rough measurements of all the moving parts and stationary components below the hinge. And then put in a few additional millimeters of clearance. So long as nothing crosses into that zone in the design, should be good. Are you kidding me? The no-touch zone failed me. Definitely not my fault for forgetting stuff above the hinge. That was significantly better, but I'm cutting my losses. I've already sunk a lot of plastic into this, and the design is probably going to break or get in the way when I try to cut something thick. In the future, I might use this model as a jumping off point for something with a flexible lower section. Hopefully other necessary changes will become apparent with use. So yeah, that's how bad I am at product design. It took four good iterations, and I don't think it's quite there yet, but it's functional. I guess all that's left is to recoup the hardware.